Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I have some pretty cool news to share with you. What I'm talking about is sample events are now built into the download in Darkroom Booth for iPad. And this is to go along with the recent update that included video. So if you already have Darkroom Booth for iPad, you can go ahead and install the update and the sample events should uh, add on. If you don't have Darkroom Booth for iPad and you want to try it out, Go to the App Store and look up uh, Darkroom Booth for iPad. Let's jump in my computer, into my iPad, and I'll walk you through the process. Okay, so we're gonna go to the App Store. We'll do a a search for. Darkroom booth and there it is we'll go ahead and download that application <clears throat> one more the small thing I'm going to show you if you have multiple iPads you can use Darkroom booth on up to 10 iPads um, as long as they have the same Apple ID so you just download it install it and then <clears throat> click uh, subscribe and then restore purchase on that iPad and you should go into Pro um, but you can see on this iPad I have a whole bunch of events let's go ahead and start uh, start up a few just to see what they look like so <clears throat> I'm gonna allow access to photos and it should ask me about the camera next so this is a 70s uh, 60s themed style Go ahead and take a picture. That's a GIF. Sorry. So we'll click done. We'll do a color photo. Uses the same templates. The templates are already built in. The screens are built in. Um, but that is the flower power sample event. Let's exit out of there. Um, let's go back to the 80s. We'll go uh, a little bit in the future from where we just were. This one's kind of fun as well. And this is right at the verge of the 80s, 90s. So <clears throat> we'll do, this one also has burst and a single photo, or I believe this one actually has a strip. Should be three photos. Okay. And then we can then share that if we want to. We'll go ahead and click done. Um, the the GIF is kind of neat in this one because it is animated. So I'll just kind of move my face around. And you can see the boom box is blaring the music. We'll click done. Let's look at a couple others just to see our options. Uh, we'll go with something a little bit more classy. Let's go with um, Elegant Night. And the idea behind these sample events is to uh, help you get started, but also get those creative juices flowing so you can see how a event can and should be set up with the different options. So we'll tap the screen to start and um, we'll do photos. I believe this one's going to take about three photos as well. <clears throat> And each one's set up just a little bit differently. So this one in this case is set up to have um, a printable two by two strip. So you would then send this to your, your printer and print out two by two strips and it'd cut it down the center. So you can see whenever it's set in that two by two uh, layout, it's meant for printing. Anything that's set as a four by six, like um, the first one we did, Um, is going to be um, to uh, if it's four by six, you could just print it. But whenever you're doing the strips, you want to make sure it has the two up so it, it, it knows to double it and then cut it. Uh, let's try uh, we'll go gold marble, and then 
Um, so this might be used for like a black tie event. Uh, we'll do black and white photos. I believe it's going to take three photos as well. So, and remember, Darkroom email is built in, so I can click on email and without having to do any extra configuration, I can just type in my email address and <clears throat> that would send you you saw that this is a brand new fresh install so it's then going to send that uh, as an email to me um, and then we'll end with the, there are a whole bunch of other ones um, the uh, we'll end with the blue 360 and what this is intended to be used for is a 360 boot so <clears throat> um, oh, what I meant it to is uh, when you're using a um, 360 you're better off using the camera right over here this has a higher frame rate higher resolution um, and it's set up by default but if I do that then everybody's gonna see my messy messy desk so Let's go ahead and just swap that around. Um, so, even though these are all pre-configured, at any time you can go in and just update the settings the way you want to use them. So, if you wanted to add a uh, still image, it doesn't make a lot of sense in a 360 environment, but if you like that design, um, you can update it. So we have burst GIF set to use the front camera, and then, um, the video recording which is set for with a script um, and no audio but if you want to change this so it's just recorded video with audio you can go and make those updates but um, we'll click next and then next next and the only reason why I want to go in there is just just show just to show you that you can make additional changes and modify it to be exactly what you wanted or swap out the template for one that you've edited. Um, so, but we'll start that. Um, and now it's gonna use the front facing camera rather than the, the rear facing. But once again, for 360, you're better off going the other way using the, the higher resolution, higher frame rate camera. So video recording and <clears throat> Um, uh, you'll see that it has an effect that's applied but you imagine this is a working at a 360 booth but you'll be able to see how it speeds up slows down reverses and those are diff using different video scripts uh, that we have added as well so we'll go ahead and click done and those are the new sample events. There's 10 of them. We only went through, I think, four or five. Um, but they're, uh, jump in, check them out, um, and really get in, try to get inspired by them so you can make your own events that look even better. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to update Dark and Blue for iPad.